Yes, my beautiful people, it's Cream Slice. Welcome back. You already know that when my voice gets like this, it means I'm hyped to bring you a build. Whoever said Void Titan is dead lied. They lied. If I'm just going to show you some of this gameplay here from the Grandmaster this week. Look at what we are doing. We should not be allowed to roam around Grandmasters at this current level and demolish everything the way we are we have void explosions we have infinity devour as always infinity weakening we can debuff everything while running in around shield bashing everything making everything explode and it was just an absolute joy to play so hopefully it will bring you the same joy that it's brought me so yeah let's get into the build Okay, so we'll get into the aspect straight away. The first aspect is going to be Bastion. Casting our barricade gives us that all important overshield for us and our allies. And we can keep bunkering in and out of it to extend the duration. This will allow us to take heavy damage in Grandmasters, but not only that, give us the overshield we need to go shield bash our enemies. Then we're pairing it with controlled demolition i know a lot of people are going to want to be saying offensive bulwark is better because of the grenade recharge rate but with our exotic we're not really going to be without any of our abilities and i think you already know what exotic i'm talking about but i chose to run controlled demolition with this build just to see how it performed and by god i was hyped as soon as everything started exploding in them grandmasters using the exotic that we've got as well i was blown away obviously making everything volatile with any of our abilities is also gonna stun barrier champions as well which frees up a weapon slot for us so the first fragment was echo of instability when we defeat targets with our grenades it's gonna give us volatile rounds to avoid weapons then i went with echo of remnants so our grenades last longer and then we're gonna add echo of undermining this is gonna weaken our enemies and debuff them i think it's a 15 percent debuff which is absolutely top tier and then we're finishing it off with echo of starvation picking up a void breach or orb of power grants us devour for every kill that we get while we while devour is active it's going to recharge 20 percent of our grenade on each kill whoever told your heart of him or slight got heavily nerfed they lied it's still top tier guys even with the arc subclass you've seen in my previous video it still works and the mods that we have with this build totally bring this exotic back into the light on the shadows in my opinion so the perk is overflowing light using an ability empowers the other two so if you throw down your barricade straight away it's going to give your melee and your grenade that empowerment and then vice versa i want to go over the artifact really quickly there are a lot of perks that play heavily into this build that still make void an absolute beast in end game so the first one being onto the breach defeating a void debuff targets creates a void breach obviously with the titan we've got shield bash we have our grenades with weakening so with every kill that we use with our abilities we're always making void breaches and then when we pick that up we're gonna have devour active all the time as well then we've got protective breach picking up a void breach gives you an overshield then we have supernova picking up a void breach causes source of void damage create large weakening pulse so as you saw in one of the clips there when we did a shield bash we are weakening everything My my weapon of choice with this build has to be the wave splitter guys honestly this is phenomenal especially with controlled demolition getting volatile rounds we can stun overload champions with trace rifles this season making it even better but not only that every time we collect an orb of power it's going to give us maximum charge and sustained fire suppresses enemies so in end game now i do believe wave splitter is at a place where you can definitely take it into the higher tier content wave splitter is not to be sniffed at this season it wrecks 
as soon as you pick up an overpower supercharged battery is gonna melt everything and then when you throw two void surge mods on there as well we're gonna be getting an extra 17 percent damage increase as well so wave splitter is top tier with this build so from the helmet we're gonna be using special ammo finder special ammo scout and void siphon so with any void weapon kill that we get we create orbs of power that leading into the supercharged battery with wave splitter and devour on the gauntlets we're running two grenade kickstart mods with two of these stacking it's going to give us a hefty amount of grenade energy guys so this is how we keep the pre heart of imos light up on the heart of imos light we've got some damage resist mods and we have charged up so when we pick up a, an orb of power or a void breach it's going to give us an extra stack of armor charge then on the boots we've got elemental charge so when we pick up a void breach it's going to give us escalated chances of becoming charged up and then we have two weapon surge mods on there obviously being void it's going to give us a 17 percent damage increase with the wave splitter on the class item we've got double bomber and reaper so this is like a three in one so when you throw down your barricade and you get a kill it's going to create an orb of power also it's going to give you extra grenade energy on top so yeah that is the build guys look at this guy looks fantastic go get that gm and try this build out you will not be disappointed i promise you thank you everybody for watching liking commenting over the past month thank you very much for watching everything i do i love you all Peace.